Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on skin editing. First, you're going to make a new layer and name it neck or col no, actually name it collarbone. Now you have to take a darker color of her skin. Like mine would be like a dark brown, maybe. And then go over the collar around. And now you're going to go to filter, blur, and grass blur. And you can bring it to the number that you think it looks better on. You can watch it kind of like smears in a little bit. And it's smeared in. And if you wanted to, you can go to um, blur or sharpen and kind of like blur it until it gets to the point that it looks good. And blur is like this little drop right here on the corner. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it kind of looks funny. So you can go like to where to. Okay. Opacity, opacity, and like bring it to a level where you think it looks good, like right there. And now you can you can go down to the boob area, make a new layer and call it boob. Sounds funny. <laughs> and like do the same thing. And I use this up here to circle around it. And some people like like to make their whole thing look like real and everything like that. So you can just like keep on go along and make it look kind of realish, sort of. And then you go up to filter. And we're like doing the same thing as we did to the collarbone, grasper, and bring it to the point where you like it at, or it looks good. And it kind of looks better if you like take the smear button, or it has like the, the hand, kind of. And you like smear it into the skin a little bit, cause it looks like kind of fake when you do when you just do glasper. So I would like smear it in kind of. You can see it how I'm like smearing it kind of. And yes, this does take a long time. For the whole, probably the whole skin area, it'll probably take like, I don't know, like eight, maybe more than eight minutes. But like, more people make it good when they're taking their time, so. I'm one of those people who like rush or anything, but I try to like, not to rush. Then you can zoom out. And yes, it's gonna look a, a little weird, kinda. So you can go to opacity, opacity, and like lower it down to the point where you like it at. And right there, you can't really see it. I'm gonna rise a little more. 
And right there looks good. <clears throat> and like I said in my other ones, you can always um download lashes and everything, eyeshadow, stuff like that. Oh, and make sure when you're gonna like, I don't like um, eyeliner to go back to your background, the first one. Sorry for the like the noise or anything. That's my TV. I thought I'd turn it down, but and you can see that I added the um, makeup under her eyes, and you can also like lashes. I said you can always download them. That one looks really pretty. And I'm not doing no background or anything because this is just like a skin edit kind of. And you can like go to new layer. Name it nose. Grab a dark color again. I'm gonna use my brown since my skin's like kind of tannish. So. Filter, blur, grass blur, find the nose right there. And if you don't think it looks weird, go over to Capacity and lower it. And if it still kind of looks weird to you, you can always go to blur and like blur it a little bit. Or even go to your smudge and smudge your real skin into the edit. Okay, so this is our our neck and down results. Results. And this is our makeup results. Okay. So I hope you I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. And I'll post more tutorials as soon as I can. And if you would like me to do a specific tutorial, just ask me on comments. Thank you.